ഹലോമിക്സ്ബെ my journey so far in the institute has been fun academically and from the extracurricular standpoint as well i i have been an active basketball and chess player so the first the entirety meet which happened before covid hit was yeah. a blast indeed and i have been a part of the student i have been a part of student bodies in several functions right from my first year so yeah it's been an enriching journey to say the least right great so on my first question to you is that what made you choose this branch like economics branch during your own jo sa counseling like what were the other options you were getting that you rejected to get this right so i so basically over the course of my j preparation i realized that i'm pretty good with math i right. think i was partially gifted with numbers but i was not at all comfortable with physics hmm. and chemistry as you all know is done just to ace the examination right. there are very few people who actually like chemistry like i was definitely like, not yeah. one of them i mean i couldn't pursue a career in chemistry of course mm-hmm. so that narrowed down the choices which i had pursuing a conventional engineering course such as mechanical right. engineering or chemical engineering it you know you understand it did not make mm-hmm. a lot of sense right so it narrowed down my branch options to computer science applied math or economics which i was fortunately aware of mm-hmm. uh, i think the major issue is that a lot of people are not aware about economics okay, existing right. in mm-hmm. right so i was aware about economics so that helped and uh the kind of person i was i did not have a very very technical bent hmm. and i was a very outgoing person i had been a part of several student activities so right. it sort of made sense back then to pursue a course which hmm. is not very niche right right so, and as you might think economics is something which sounds like something which is all over the place Hmm. so let's how an arrow done which i said the options which i had um, i had bits pilani computer science amongst the bits which i could have joined right. and amongst the third generation ids i think i had iit indore and hyderabad cs with electrical i had guwahati mechanical i had madras and chemical hmm. i had bombay woods and other branches i had in all other ids but it was not interesting so i was basically right. choosing between bits pilani cs and economics bombay bombay more made more sense so Right. Right. Great. So, what is this economics branch all about? If you could explain in layman's language to a student who might be watching this. So, talking in simple terminology, it's about understanding the world of finance, right. understanding how money works, how to make money work for you, what are the different factors which go into governing the GDP, right. governing how an economy functions, all in all. that's right, one right. and second it has a it has a good amount of statistical aspect to it where we learn right. we have courses in probability econometrics which is pure play data analysis and juggling data around to draw logical conclusions right so right. that's what economics entails right so, so what was something interesting hmm. economics usually the ba but right. it is the bs it's bs right one because it's a four year course Hmm. and second because it has a good amount of mathematical rigor too right right so yeah so what were the major courses and electives that you have studied so far uh, if you could name some of them macroeconomics microeconomics econometrics maths for economics probability statistics right majorly and also psychology or some non economics and data science electives we had psychology and sociology right right so um, do you uh, like since you mentioned that it's a bs degree and like not a btech degree so do you think like it's there any disadvantage of pursuing a bs degree from iit because many of these people have a notion that if you are studying from a technological institute so why pursue a bs degree so what's your take on this right so anand you are from kanpur if you must be aware looking at it from a pure placement standpoint economics has the second best right. placement hmm. computer science so I mean, the world is progressing. Most of the jobs which IITs right. are offered these days are fronted are jobs which do not require your undergraduate hmm. degree work right. as a prerequisite. Right. 
So personal economics, it offers you the flexibility to per pursue and understand other stuff. And uh, I mean, if you're good enough, BS or BTEC, it does not matter. It truly does not matter. Right. If you're really concerned, you can go and pursue an MBA. But in my experience, I am very confident that the difference hmm. between BS and BTEC has not mattered for me and for my batchmates as well. Right, right. So, uh, do you guys also have the option of pursuing uh, like a double major or a minor in your college? And from what year do you have this uh, freedom to pursue those? We do not have the option to pursue a double major. That's, right. I think, only in Kanpur. Hmm. We have the option of pursuing a minor from the second year. Okay, great. And uh, since there is also a, like a brand change opportunity at every IIT, I think, and it's also there at IIT, Bombay at the end of first year. So, how difficult is that? For a first year student, what's your take on? I mean, Bombay is pretty competitive. I'll be honest. Right, right. It's possible if you put in the work. It's you don't need to be a genius to hmm. convert the top branches either. You just need to be diligent and sincere with your coursework. But it is difficult, and I I am of the opinion that you should definitely not come to IIT banking on a branch change. Right, because, because many students do this, they, they take a branch thinking that, okay, they'll get a branch, they get get their branch change at the end of the first year, they have this notion in their minds. So yeah, that's why yeah. I wondered your opinion on this. So, because, so that I'm they're against it. Right. I'm definitely against it. Because it's, it's not fair, you're spending hmm. your first year, first year is the year to explore. explore and explore right. might sound like something which is just something which does not add your skill set or something hmm. which does not help you in the long run right. but the importance of exploring different avenues is genuinely very underrated right. so if you come into college you've already struggled or two three hmm. or whatever years right. and then you come into your first year with an aim in mind and a specific right. set of ideas about what hmm. to do in mind well you might get a branch change but then you're missing out on a lot of things exactly even if you get the branch change and getting right. the branch change is also a big if Right, right. So I think you put it in a great way. So, right. So moving on and talking a little bit about internships and patients. So how was your own internship experience? And in general, what are the internship opportunities available to the students from your branch? So I think almost all internship opportunities are open to economic students. Right, so right. Hardly one or two companies hmm. who, if they're coming for the first time, they don't open up for economics, but everybody's open to economics. That's not an issue. I particularly interned with the, I was one of the lucky ones to back one of the coveted internships. Right. So I interned with a high frequency trading firm Optiver out of the Amsterdam office. Right. So it was an on site internship. It was fun. Hmm. It was a good learning experience. And most of my batchmates got placed on day one of the internship season in consulting finance roles. Right. Right. So the, our batch is done decently well. Obviously, we are improving. Hmm. We, we are working on ourselves. So it's not the end of everything, but the results or the placement prospects have been genuinely promising. Right. So since you interned for Optiver, as you mentioned, so they, they must have a, like a high CPI cutoff for your resume, right? No. For, no. They didn't. Okay. They didn't. Okay. Okay. So great. So moving on and talking about uh, placements. So uh, how is the placement scenario for your own brands and the top companies that come to recruit and the roles that they offer in general? Um, so we usually economic students, I mean, they can get in to anywhere, but there are no companies which are coming to higher economics graduates. But for right. that matter, there, are, there aren't any companies who are coming, there aren't any big firms coming to higher mechanical or chemical graduates either hmm, right. so the exactly. bigger internship the bigger placement sorry hmm. bcg McKinsey, morgan stanley goldman sachs all of these are open to our students and we have students who have gone into mckinsey bain bcg morgan stanley right. goldman sachs everywhere so yeah and we're just a batch of 30 hmm. three years old that's 90 students who have sat for placements but still People have managed to click it with the biggest firms right, out there. Right. So yeah, so talking about the academic uh, load of your brand, so how tough or easy was it to study in your opinion? It's relatively chill, I'll be honest. It's right. chiller with respect to the other branches, hmm. which is a good, which is a bad thing. I don't know how it is, a, how is it a bad thing, but it's. I think it's a good thing because you get time to explore right. what is it 
what you really want to do hmm. yeah so talking about your own match so uh, do you have any idea of the approximate ratio of the people who are like who are setting for placements and are going for jobs in uh, various sectors or like the people who are going for um, higher studies or pursuing masters in various colleges and universities across the country and in foreign universities there are one or two odd students who are pursuing masters most of them are right. going for jobs so okay. that's the ratio two out of 30 is masters and high school right right great so i think uh, that was it uh, um about the internships and placements that we wanted to ask moving on and talking a little bit more about the non academic life at iit bombay so how has your own experience been so far to be a student at the best iit of the country oh that coming from a kanpur student that's <laughs> that's, that's nice but yeah um it's been fulfilling it's been fun okay. i think it's been a blessing and I mean, it'll be a blessing for anybody who makes sure that he's he or she is just learning all right. the way. Obviously, life at IIT is difficult. I won't right. say that it's a cakewalk because it's super competitive. But if you just take everything as a learning, and if you look at yourself four years down the line, the amount of growth which you undergo is right. unparalleled. And I think, I think, in my personal opinion, I think Bombay is. Expected to be more competitive than the others, hmm. so you're going through more rigor, and the okay. facilities available and the amount of effort. So, from what I have understood and I've seen, Bombay has a more structured hmm. council, a structured approach to most of the things as opposed to other IITs. Right. So it gives you a better exposure, but at the same time, you have to be very careful that you don't sink into depression or you know you don't. Right. You don't take things the wrong way because there will be a lot of setbacks hmm. throughout your journey. Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the next question is uh, kind of really popular among the students who are joining the college in the upcoming semesters, and that is that uh, by choosing their branch in college, so what should they prefer? Should they go for a better branch or a better college? So what's your take? That's a good question. So it depends on what kind of a person you are. If you're a person hmm. who is more of an all rounder. Okay. And does not know which branch would he pursue hmm. suit him or her. You just have a rough idea, then I'd suggest you go for the college because there you can explore and then figure right. out. But if you're helping, you're a, you're a tech geek, hmm. then it just makes sense to take computer science wherever you're getting it, or electrical wherever you're getting it, or mechanical, or whichever branch for that matter. Right, right, great. If you're, I, I think you should choose a specific branch if you're completely convinced that that you will that is the thing you want to pursue. Right. Precisely. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, you should go for a better college. Right. So I think that was it about the interview. Um. Thanks the Lord for giving your time. Just one last question before going. That what is the message from your side that uh, you would like to give to the students who will be watching this? I mean, coming from a fourth year student, you all who just cleared J might not be able to relate to it, but right. I mean, college life is the is genuinely the best time of your life. Life, right. And you know there was this dialogue in one of the series which I which I had watched that I wish there was a way to know that you are in the good old days without not being in the good old days. Right. So I realized that some years down the line these are going to be the good old days. So enjoy right. them. Grow and explore. Grow. I mean, you should grow, but then growth does not mean not enjoy. You can enjoy and grow. Right. To make sure you walk it that way. Right, great. That was a beautiful message. Um, to end this interview with. Uh